Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, in this video, I am finally going to show you guys this one uh, process footage video that I've had for a few years now that I just never edited into a video because I've been trying to start a YouTube channel for many years prior to when I actually did and I did hoard a bunch of footage before I got around to starting my channel so sometimes I will pull that out and show it to you guys so this particular piece I did about three years ago and I used Holbein brand uh, Acrylic Gouache which is a medium that I really really love but unfortunately haven't gotten around to using much at all um, I do believe that it was the last time I used it the three years ago so um i figured that i will finally pull this footage out show it to you guys um tell you guys a little bit about my process and hopefully it'll inspire me to use gouache again so what you see here is me essentially tracing the preliminary digital sketch that i did onto a piece of watercolor paper with a red color erase pencil and the reason why I prefer color erase pencils is because they're pretty easy to erase obviously and they do tend to melt under uh, or into whatever medium I use on top of them in this case they pretty much got uh, the sketch pretty much got covered up completely and yeah to paint this piece I used just a set that I showed at the very beginning of the video it has more than enough colors to mix everything that you need typically but the only color that I used that wasn't in the set is actually the base for the skin although I did add some white and red to it to just get it to the exact tone that I wanted to so yeah essentially what I do is go very steady and slow filling in each area one by one with the flat solid fill first and then i follow with the lines being a darker color which i mix using the same base but just add a darker color into it and, and so it will complement the base color nicely and i quickly wanted to mention that what you're looking at in the top corner of the video is the sketch snippet. Um, I just found this video and it was kind of very small compared to the HD videos that I typically um, edit and export. So I didn't want to stretch it out to make it all blurry. So I decided to just crop it and put it in a corner. And so unfortunately that might require like a second viewing because I know that you can't like look at both of the uh, these things at the same time, but since the footage was so small, I didn't want to include it uh, by itself because it would be way too blurry if I stretched it all the way out. Hopefully that's understandable, but yeah. So back to the process of this illustration. The reason why I actually decided to use gouache in the first place was because I recently bought the set and I wanted to test it out, but also because I wanted to make a couple of sticker designs. And for once, I wanted to do that traditionally. So that's where the idea came from. And it was, as you can see, kind of Halloween themed. So she's wearing this little Dracula slash vampire type of outfit, which I thought was very cute and fitting because her name is Zero Moon. But anyways, um, moving on <laughs> or back to the actual process of this little painting. So I didn't really predetermine the color scheme but as you guys know i do like to stick to very simple color schemes and i think it works very well for these types of paintings i actually pulled out this one to look at it all these years later and it still looks super vibrant and bright and it's honestly like super satisfying to look at and i am really excited to plan something new to paint with gouache because I did buy all those new colors that I have never gotten around to using yet. So as you can see, I'm basically very tediously going over each area and just filling it in with the solid color. And I did that for like the majority of the illustration before I went in to the finer details, which you will see me do shortly. 
I'm just going to take a quick pause to tell you about this video's sponsor, which is Skillshare. If you've never heard about it before, Skillshare is an online platform for learning new creative and lifestyle skills and find interesting projects to do in your spare time, which is something that I do sometimes. <laughs> it's a platform that has a ton of classes on a huge variety of topics, and these classes are taught by all sorts of professionals who come from various backgrounds and share their expertise. One of the things that I like about Skillshare the most is that the classes are typically about an hour long, which is very easy to fit into a busy schedule. Some of my favorite topics to check out are illustration, video editing, writing, productivity, and organization. I recently came across a super useful class taught by Christopher Rhodes, which is called Video on a Budget, Prepare Your Shoot Without Breaking the Bank. I'm not looking to do professional shoots or anything, but uh, I'm very interested in getting better at all aspects of making videos in general. And I found this class to be super useful and to have a ton of information that I never even took into consideration when preparing to film a small project, um, which I've done a couple times before. If you want to try out Skillshare, check out the link in my description where you can get a one month free trial. You can watch a ton of classes in a month, so I definitely recommend to give it a try. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a free trial. And now let's get back to the video. I have to mention that one of the reasons why I seldom use gouache is because it is way more time consuming than any other type of illustration that I do just because I have to be so careful um, when I fill in all these little areas and I try to make the fill as smooth as possible so that it's not too textured with the paint strokes um, if you know what I mean if you zoom in really like if you look at, at the end of the video the very closely zoomed in uh, footage of this illustration or painting you can see that you can actually tell when the texture is too thick. And that's something I've noticed like the first time I used this gouache, like if I put too many layers and uh, fix things too many times, like it does give it kind of like this weird gritty texture that looks especially unpleasant on the face I've noticed of the character. So I was trying to avoid that here. So I was just being very careful and meticulous about picking all the colors that I want to use first and um, testing everything out on a piece of paper to the side. And I gotta say, um, I was very, very pleased with the result of this illustration. And I think especially because I took the time to really figure out all the shapes in the digital sketch. And so filling them out, I didn't have to like change anything or change any shapes. It was very straightforward. And I think the result was very nice. And I... Thinking back on it, um, I ended up picking a pink color for the moon that's in the background. I think maybe I could have actually used a more yellow or an orange, which would have looked good, but I think the pink works as well regardless, so I don't know. It, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's not like a whole lot to say about the process here because it's so simple, but... I've actually seen a lot of people use gouache in a more painterly way with more mixing and more of like a loose type of look but for some reason to me uh, maybe this particular gouache just there's just something about this paint I, I find it the most satisfying using it like like you see me do here where I do a very solid color type of approach and it almost even looks digital in the end, which is another reason why I'm kind of skeptical about using this process a lot because I'm not sure if it is indeed worth the effort and the time that it takes because if any of you guys do digital art, you can probably tell that you can create something very similar looking in like a fraction of the time just with all the digital tools that are available like the lasso tool or being able to select um, different elements and just it is much easier to create this type of look digitally but I do think there is a there's just something about being able to do it on paper that's extra satisfying and I have to say that like looking at the original of this painting is like next level of satisfaction even compared to all the other stuff that i do that it's in ink so yeah i would totally recommend trying out these acrylic gouache paints they're 
like really nice and they have very very vibrant colors and yeah hopefully i will use them again soon and show you guys some more process of that uh i apologize that this video is a little bit short when i was uh first editing i thought that it would be longer because it took me so long to draw this or paint it but um i guess the video turned out a little bit shorter than i thought but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it anyways and i'm looking forward to making new pieces that i can share with you guys in the future and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!